happy Black Friday, Storm fans, and while we're going to play some black cards today, we are playing Cycle Storm. And I've said this a million times, but it is my favorite popper deck, and honestly, this league is for me. I've been practicing so much Vintage for the event that starts tonight, Eternal Weekend for Vintage, and I just want to relax, play this deck. I haven't played this deck in over a week. The last time I played it was actually the video that I recorded where we went 3-2, and two, and it was my first 3-2 and two with this list. So I had three four ones in a row and then the recorded three two. And after that, I decided that Tolarian wins needed to go. Um, basically, my only losses were inconsistency to not finding Reaping the Graves. And that means that we're going to cut the Tolarian wins for the second copy of Mystical Teachings. And I hope that that shores it up. The big upgrade in that last video was Repository Scab, which allows you to rebuy Reaping the Graves and Songs of the Damned over and over and over again. It's extremely powerful. I received some comments on the video about why don't I play two because then I could go infinite. Well, in order to go infinite, you have to have a blood celebrant in play and then a Dranith healer. The healer part isn't as necessary, but you definitely need blood celebrant. And from there, you can loop a pair of a, sorry, a pair of repository scabs. That's a mouthful. And you can keep on buying them back over and over, but you're not actually allowed to go infinite because if you return too many creatures then your songs of the dam doesn't make enough mana so you have to cycle it's sort of a win more play you don't actually need two copies of the repository scab one will get the job done but people like this i this cool idea of going infinite instead of just playing what's best so repository scab it's fine as a two of but like you don't ever really need two is the issue so you can play two. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Like, if you're going to play two, cut the third Architect of Will. But then you're reducing some consistency since the games where you often lose are the games where you don't draw enough cyclers. So I think it's slightly worse than Architect. But if you want to do it, do it. It's not the end of the world. Like, your results will still be within a few percentage points. So go ahead. Play two Repository Scab if that's what you'd like to do. But I'm convinced that one is correct. Um, other than that... That's the big change here. I made one small adjustment in the sideboard. I had a second copy of Dispel over the third Darkness. I found that I didn't even really want to board in the third copy of Darkness against those aggressive decks, where the second copy of Dispel could come in against Affinity, where it could counter their Dispels, their Red Elemental Blaster, even Fling with Atog. So I'm playing two copies of Dispel. I haven't figured out yet if I want to be boarding all five counter spells against the Fairies decks yet. Um... So if you do that, you have seven cards to board in between the mountain and also shredded sail. So it's a lot to come in all at once. Maybe I'll figure it out. I'm not sure. But I do like the idea of two copies of Dispel. You could also possibly go down a Pyroblast. I don't know if I love that just because Pyroblast is by far the best card against the fairy stacks, but we'll see what happens. That's enough for the deck tech. If you have any questions, as always, you know, leave a comment down below. I do try to respond to everything. You can also like this video and subscribe. Those things are free and easy to do, and they do support me. So I would appreciate it if you did that today. Today's Black Friday, as I mentioned, I hit my 6,000 subscriber goal. Thank you to everyone who subscribed over the last year. We literally quadrupled our subscriber count in 11 months. I am so happy, and I really do appreciate everyone's support on this that watches this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know that. You know, I'm looking forward to next year. I'm not sure if I have a guaranteed goal yet, but I'm eyeing 10K. At 10K, you gain more YouTube benefits, so I really want to hit that. That's my next goal. Maybe in the next six months? Who knows? But thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and if you want to support us in any other manner, we do have the epicsroom.com slash donation X where you can submit your favorite combo deck to be featured on this YouTube channel. It could be a popper deck, it could be a pioneer deck, whatever you'd like. We also have the epicstorm.com slash shop for card singles, store merchandise, and our brand new mini token pack. Definitely go check that out. And as always, if you want to go to that next step, become a member. There's going to be a promotion starting soon if this video doesn't go live by December 1st. But December 1st, I'm going to have some benefits. You know, I'll just say it. I was going to dance around it. But in December, all members will gain early access to videos. So... If you're a member, you can watch any video early. So you get early access to the deck list, etc. That's a top tier combo cabal member perk, and you can get it for the $4.99 tier. 
So this month is great value. I wanted to do something special for the holiday season. You know, happy holidays to everyone that watches this channel. But that's a sweet, sweet perk that I'm giving away for $4.99. So this month, become a member. It's going to be great, I promise. Um, that's all I have. You know, I hope you enjoy this. I know I've been uploading so much Cycle Storm recently, but it's by, just by far the best combo deck in the format. I recorded that uh, Weather the Storm video yesterday. It's probably not going to publish back-to-back -back days, but the Weather the Storm video that's already published, I recorded that yesterday. And the entire time I was recording, I couldn't help but feel like, why am I not just playing Cycle Storm? There was wins that I had on turn four where I was like, this is this deck's nut draw, where with Cycle Storm, turn threes happened. I've had a turn two before, so... I mean, it's just really tough to justify playing that deck over Cycle Storm, in my opinion, because Cycle Storm turns four, it turn fours people regularly. Turn threes, you know, not uncommon, but, it, you know, I, you can't bank on it. And that deck just, like, it's impossible to turn three, I feel like. Not impossible, but extremely difficult to turn three. Yeah, so if you want to be playing Storm Combo and Popper, I think that this is the deck. You're welcome to disagree with me, and I'd love to hear why in the comments section, but that's enough of me rambling. I'll see you in match number one. Let's cycle some fools. Maybe get that elusive 5-0 that I've been wanting with this deck. Match number one, and we're on the play. Let's get it. And here we've opened up no lands. Unfortunately, we cannot keep that. This seems fine. We'll probably bottom the Lotus Petal. Okay, so Petal's the bottom card of our deck. We'll play Baron more and pass the turn. Okay, just hit F6. Forest go, okay. So here we're just going to cycle looking for land number two. In theory, you could burn Dark Ritual to do it, but if you do that, yes, you're more likely to hit land number two. The problem there is that you're not going to have Storm Count for Reaping the Graves later. Okay, and there's our second land. I'm just going to be lazy cycle main phase. If I get hit by Bajuka Bog out of the Chancery Forest deck, I deserve it. Okay, this looks like a weird version of, like, um, Familiars. Oh, it's the Sacrifice deck? Okay. Another Dark Ritual isn't bad. Let's cycle the Dino. Cycle Dino. Boom! Cycle Stinger. We're doing okay. Another Thriving Isle, and they have three mana open, and it looks like they're just going to pass the turn. Which is fine for us, because we can just keep cycling. Cycle Horror. Songs is a great pickup. Let's cycle Stinger. Let's cycle Teachings. So many cards in Graveyard. I think I'm actually going to play a Blood Celebrant here. Are you going to counter my Celebrant? Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Love it. Okay. Looks like they might cast something here. Floating mana for Thriving Isle. My tap out. Yes. Yes. You are dead, my friend. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Ball Ritual. Cycle Stinger. Dark Ritual. Let's cast this Teachings. We'll get another Songs. 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 So that's Storm 10. We can flash back Teachings. That'll be Storm number 8. Songs. Cast Songs. Storm 10. So now we get to return the whole party. Boom. Now we're going places. And honestly, I don't think we need anything else. I think we have everything we need to win already. Love it. So we're going to play the Blood Celebrant into Double Stinger and just cycle our opponent to death. Blood Celebrant at red. Stinger. I'll be honest, I didn't realize that we had three Stinger. Our opponent's super dead. Okay. Okay, another life. Stinger. They see the writing on the wall. That's game number one. Just how we drew it up. Now we need to get game number two. All right, so I'm definitely interested in the Dispels and the Pyroblasts and the Mountain. Okay, so we have six cards coming in. We can afford to take out a Lotus Petal, I think. Uh, maybe even two. We'll come back to that. And I usually brought out this, the Architects when I'm in these spots. All right, so we have two more. 
I think you could probably take out Petal versus like a slow blue deck. But I don't like going underneath this number of creatures. Like 22 with two non cyclers is about as low as you can go. So we're one over at the moment. So now you have to choose between teachings or one of these counter spells, I think. Um, kind of risky. I think I'm just going to only do two pyros. Let's try this out. Good hand. Keep. And preordain. Draw. Cycler. And once again, I'm just going to be lazy. Cycle main phase so I can have six. Like the second land pickup. Driving Isle. And they decided against casting something. Okay. Let's, uh, I don't normally do this, but let's jam Stinger. We have triple Stinger. Let's just beats. We are the pain. For some reason, I doubt that this deck has any sweepers in it. Um, being, you know, that color mana. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to play the Baron more and just attack. Cool. Okay, now we're passing the turn. On their end step, I'll cycle the two white creatures. I'm keeping the stingers because if they give me an opening, I'm going to play another one. All right, so they're getting back their preordain. I'm going to cycle here. Auto yield to that. Auto yield here. And cycle the dino. Okay. Drew a pyroblast. I like that draw. Let's play another stinger. And cycle the Street Wraith. I like that all my cycles are shocks now. Cycle the Healer. Next turn we'll get to untap with Pyroblast. And because this is a 1-2, it's not Ardent Alchemist, we can swing into it. Alright, so now they're at 10. They're pretty close to death already. And they're casting their Preordain. Put 2 on the bottom. Chancery, you got it. I mean, this could just be uh, Bant Familiars and not, um, I guess we did see the Sacrifice card. I don't know. It's probably just the Sacrifice deck. I don't care about that Relic. I have these Double Stingers. Okay, let's get in there. They're going to fall to six. Cycle Stinger. I think it's better to cycle here than try to play out another one. Cycle the Street Wraith. And now they'll go to two. And our opponents just conceded before I could get the chance to cycle my Ash Barons. Wooch Wooch. 1 0. That was round number one. Round number two coming right up. All right. Match two. We're on the play and we're facing a Wizards of the Coast account. So maybe we don't want to go too degenerate on them. I don't want to get my deck banned. We're going to mulligan here. And this hand's pretty good. We're going to keep this. I think you're supposed to bottom the Lotus Petal. Keep bottom petal. And let's just start off on Swamp Pass. On their end step, we'll cycle the Ash Barons for Island. Okay. We purposely chose an 8th edition ugly, ugly forest. We need to beat them down for that. That's not acceptable. Draw. Granite Stinger. Pass the turn. Another forest. Ah, they're on walls. Okay. So they're also doing something degenerate. Let's, uh, I take that back. Let's combo them out. And cycle horror. Draw. Cycle Healer. Cycle Horror. Pass the turn. All right, so we have five cards in Graveyard. We could theoretically try to win on our turn, but I don't know if that's the best thing. Let's see what they do here, and then we can reevaluate. Another Battlement. Okay. Tinderwall. Another Battlement taps for three. Lead the Stampede. Three cards still in hand. They picked up four. So they'll have the haste wall next turn. That's pretty scary. Hmm. Now they're reaping the graves, though. My fear is that I'm just a little bit bottlenecked on mana. 
I guess I can cycle the healer and reevaluate. So I'll cycle this, Baron more. Doesn't help. Um Let's just play the Baron more. I'm gonna pass the turn and if I die, I die. One of my concerns why I didn't go for it last turn was that the teachings for songs line doesn't actually make any mana. In fact, you lose a mana. So you're just like really praying to hit. Okay, boarding party. I could be dead here. I guess that's 18 damage. And they have the sentinels. Yeah, I could just be dead. Okay. They sack the tinder wall for the rabble for it, rumble for it, whatever it's called. Yep. Now they untap the battlements. Yeah, I'm just super dead here. It was only a problem because they revealed two six powered cascade creatures off the second lead, the stampede. Okay. I mean, I'm going to make them kill me just to prove that they have enough mana. So seven mana. Okay, so they revealed Tinderwall. Why not? Or they can untap the ranger, or use ranger to untap wall. Okay, and now they have five. They can sack the Tinderwall for red to play the boarding party. Yep. Ah, oh, Aquarian Ranger was perfect! Oh my. Oh, that's unreal. Now they can untap uh, the bombardment again. Wait, what? They just chose not to play the second copy of Boarding Party. Did they leave a green floating on accident? I must have missed it. Well, we get a second chance here. All right. Dark Ritual. Ball Ritual. Petal. Storm's three, and I have five creatures in Graveyard. So I could teachings for songs. That would be seven mana. Just so risky. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. You know, I'm just gonna cast it for four. If I didn't have another songs, I probably would have taken that line. But I'm just hoping to spike a ritual off these. And by ritual, I mean like a cabal ritual. I would obviously take a songs cycle. Not when I needed cycle. I have to hit here. I think I'm just dead. Cycle. All right, so I have a miracle outer here of cycling into exactly songs of the dam just to keep going. I missed. Okay, so we lost game number one to walls. Unfortunate. But our deck kind of just didn't cooperate right there. Uh, we could board in darkness, I suppose. I don't think I love that. I don't really feel like that's what the matchup is about. I think we should just resubmit and uh, try to do our thing a little bit better on this upcoming game. Okay. On the play. Sure. This hand's a little bit slow, but I think it's still a keep. I'm going to take a mulligan. Okay, let's cycle this tree wreath looking for an untapped land. I'll take Reaping the Graves. I do wonder if I'm supposed to burn Dark Ritual next turn to triple cycle. Ranger, okay. Well, I don't need to make that play anymore, so that was delightful. Cycle one of the Architects. Cycle Vantasaur. S. Okay. We're looking to draw rituals now. We want to draw Cabal Ritual, Dark Ritual, Songs of the Damned, all of those good things. All right, so our opponent's getting in. We're going to fall to 17. Fentanyl, okay. So now they can pick it up, replay. Tinderwall, sure. Draw. That was good. Um, I think I'm actually going to get the Swamp out of the deck here. I thought about not doing it, but all of our cycles are so color, cyclers are so color intensive. But I think it's just better to get the swamp. And you're thinning a little bit. Pickle the healer. Another reaping the graves. So we're 25% of the way through at this point. We've only found one ritual. We definitely need more. Okay. Winding way. 
So they still don't have a creature with haste right now. So I'm not super worried of yet. Like once they have, you know, an Axe Bane Guardian or the Battlement with haste, that's when you get worried. So here they can return their forest with Korean Ranger, untap this, tap both creatures, and then play Battlement. I think they might have messed up here. Unless their plan is to sack Tinderwall to play the Guardian. And I think that line's a little bit worse than playing the Overgrown Battlement. Yeah, that was their line. Oh, they're playing Rumble for it. Okay. Draw. Another Ash Barons. They have three cards in hand. Two of them are these. I don't really feel pressure to try to win here, but I think I'm just going to take my time and not like fizzle out because I got too anxious. Cycle. Cycle. And cycle. Alright, I like the ritual and the street wraith. So next turn I'm definitely going for it. And we're at 40 cards in deck, so we've seen 33%. Another winding way. Okay. So we know their whole hand here. Okay. Battlement, sure. Taps for two. Okay, it's party time. Cycle songs. I'm sorry, cycle street wraith. Cycle the dino. Do I want to pull the last swamp out of the deck? I think so. I just don't want to fizzle. I don't know why I tapped the swamp, but I did. Lotus petal. Songs of the damned. And reaping the graves. I'm going to return the street rates here just because our opponent's not going to pressure our life total on our turn. So it's all about saving mana. Cycle Street Wraith. Huge draw. Cycle. Cycle this. Okay. Cycle the Architect. Wow. We're doing very well at the moment. Cycle. Cycle. Perfect, and now return the dino. Okay, let's just keep going. Well, ritual is a reasonable draw. Lotus petal. And let's sacrifice the scab. Or exploit the scab, I should say. And let's get back that Songs of the Damned. Cast Songs. Reaping the Graves for 11. Okay, and I'm not going to make the cycle trick stuff here, just because I think we can start winning the game instead. So I'm just going to play Double Stinger and start going. Okay, and this is sort of what I meant by you don't need to go infinite, because the one scab is going to get the job done. And if we need to, we can always play scab later, <coughs> excuse me, and... um get back a Songs of the Damned, or even Reaping the Graves, but I don't think we're going to need Reaping the Graves. Okay. Speaking of a blue source for that scab, and for some reason, I guess if my opponent had like some way to kill me at instant speed, I wouldn't want to cycle the Street Wraith, but I guess I could keep on cycling in response even if that was the case. Okay. I guess if our, for some reason our, our opponent had weather, they could also uh, respond, but I don't know why they would have not responded to the Stinger if that was the case. Uh, I think we know their entire hand minus one card, so it's probably not weather. Like a Levantosaur. Okay. So we took game number two. Now we need to get game, game number three on the draw. I think I'm just going to submit. I don't really like the idea of boarding in darkness against walls. Walls off, often plays the creature that, uh, like, they just have, like, a flame weak invoker sometimes or uh, other creatures with that effect. So boarding in, like, the fog doesn't seem that amazing to me. We'll try this. I'm a little bit concerned with this hand, but we'll see how it pans out. Okay. Draw. Cycle the Architect. Okay, so 
we need more creatures to cycle. That's our, uh, ooh, this is a really good start for them. Yeah. Three cards still in hand. I'm going to burn Dark Ritual here to take some cycles. Because I do think that we just need to hit creatures in order to win. Okay, that was good. Um, let's cycle the Baron more. Pass the turn. Three creatures at the moment. Okay. What is this? Lead the Stampede. One creature and it's Aquarian Ranger. They have two cards in hand. Okay, I'll take one. Battle Mant and Aquarian Ranger. So they're Hellbent. They don't have any payoff right now. So because of that, I don't think I'm going to try to force the win this turn. I'm just going to cycle and probably play out this Lotus Petal. Cycle. All right, pass the turn. I could have, like, tried to force the win there. But I just think that's like kind of reckless. 13 life. Now it's hard. Okay, I think it's party time. Songs. Bar ritual. Let's play the scab. Okay, sacrifice the scab. Get back songs. 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 Reaping the graves. Back scab plus all of scabs for. Architect. Okay, you might be like yelling at your screen about how I didn't stack this correctly. It doesn't matter. Like we have 12 mana floating in six cards in graveyard. Like that's just not going to end up being something that has a meaningful um, thing on this game. Cycle. There's our blue source. I like that. Okay, cycle. Okay, cycle the healer. Cycle Horror. Cycle the Wraith. That's the last copy of uh, uh, Reaping the Graves. So we're going to go get the island here. Play the island. Play the scab. I would like to exploit. Get back songs. Cast songs for 11. Reaping the Graves, get back the scab. And this is why playing Lotus Petal matters, is right now you've already tapped your blue source. Because there's been a few people that are talking about cutting down on Lotus Petals, and I just don't agree with that. You need them mid-combo to keep on playing your scabs. And I was one short. I thought I was going to be able to return everything, but instead I missed a Street Wraith. Not the end of the world. Um, it is what it is. Okay, so let's cycle. And I got punished right there. Uh, because I was too busy narrating and not paying attention. Okay, just cycling. Barret was an amazing draw. Like because I wasn't supposed I was supposed to keep on cycling with them on the stack, and I didn't. I mean, it's not going to play a a big deal in this game. I think we're going to win anyway, but it's still improper sequencing. Okay, keep cycling. Lotus Petals, that allows us to replay Scab again. Going. Okay. Down to 19 cards in deck. Okay, keep cycling. Let's play a Songs. It's like so much fun. You can't tell it because I, I don't smile, but I am really, really enjoying myself. Okay, so now let's... Play the scab. Exploit. Return songs. Songs, songs. And let's return them all. Why not? Bring back the street wraith that I left in the graveyard last turn. Okay, all of our friends coming home for the party. Even if our opponent has a weather the storm, I can easily kill them. Uh, this extra is bonkers. Okay. Play okay, this. And uh, start cycling. 
And that's a concession. We are now two over walls. Woot woot cycles from the real deal. All right, we're on the draw. Let's see how it goes. Island. Okay. Tough matchup, but we'll see if we can get it. Delver. And it flips to preordained. Turn one Delver flipping on the play is not a good omen for me. Into another preordain, okay. We're going to follow the 17 and then 15 on our turn when we cycle the Street Wraith. Looking for another untapped land. Did not hit. Cycle. Yikes! We have to pass the turn. Playing right into our opponent's game plan with those street rates. Because now what they can do is just sit on counter magic and never tap out. I think if I drew a dark ritual and they tapped out, I would just cast it and try to cycle into the wind. But I don't know why they would do that. Alright, that was a good draw. Cycle. Cycle. Okay. So we go to seven here. And it looks like there's some mono blue. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this one. I'm just too far behind, I think. Cycle. Cycle. And I'm going to discard a teachings here. So you might be thinking, well, why don't you cycle off the Lotus Petal? The Lotus Petal is the blue for this teachings, but also like... We're never going to be able to cast double teaching, so if you can put one of them to the graveyard, you might be able to flash it back later. Okay, now they're representing lethal. Um, I'm going to try to... I'm going to start on the Cabal Ritual. Because I, I'm hoping they only have one counter, and it's for the Cabal Rit. Okay, the Songs Resolve. And that's the game. All right. So they just had double hard counter. Is what it is. So let's try to move to the sideboard. So we want the mountain. Terror blast. Dispel. So we could try to not board in the shredded sails, and just try to have interaction. I don't know how I feel about it because like we're just going to be hard up against a, a relic, and I think that mono blue tends to play relic. I do think that double teachings is sort of difficult to cast in the matchup, so I don't mind just uh, boarding out one of those. And then maybe another pedal. Let's try this. It didn't help that our opponent had their most aggressive start possible, so let's see if we can do better on the play. I don't love it. Only one cycler makes me a little bit nervous, and we have both copies of Lotus Petal in our hand. Like, I wish that these were cyclers. Island, berries here. Okay. Let's uh, cycle this healer. Okay, good deal. So we're going to fall to 19. Do they have ninja? They do have ninja. Okay. Draw. Cycle Street Wraith. Hit cyclers. Ugh, no dice. Alright, we just have to pass. That was my concern with keeping the double pedal hand. I don't think you're supposed to board out all four copies of pedal because it just makes mid combo super difficult. Because you have to draw the blood celebrant in the top half of your deck for that to be good. And they're just going to move to clean up, discarding two cards. Okay. Um, you can just discard here. Or I'm sorry, pass the turn here, cycle on their turn. So we're going to go to 12. They have nine cards. And they're going to go to clean up again. We're going to cycle. Hopefully hitting a chain of cyclers. Not quite. Let's go get another basic out of the deck. Might be the last one. Yeah, it is. Okay. Very seer. So I realized that this isn't like a super powerful play here. But I am going to just like try to value reaping the graves. Our opponent's stuck on mana. We just need to keep the chain going. So I'm going to value reaping the graves. And if they want to counter one, they can. But it doesn't really matter. 
cycle this. Um, I probably shouldn't tap that. Cycle this. Cycle stinger. Just keep cycling. Okay, I like the other reaping. That's good. All right, so we're going to fall to 10 here. What are they doing? Under. Looking for that other land. They shuffled. Ah, uh, they hit. Okay. They could have given me a window to try to win right there. And they're discarding again. So the fear would be if they had, like, double the spell in hand. Okay, discarded ninja. Now they're reaping the graves. Let's cycle this and go to 8 life. Okay, cycle stinger. We have no other lands to get with this, so we might as well play it out. Cycle. That was a good draw. Um, I'm going to cycle the Baron more. I want to see what I can... If I draw, like, a Dispel or another Pyroblast. Okay, go to 6. I played my land. Let's try the songs. They would need double Dispel to stop one songs here. I guess they could have Dispel Hydro Blast. Okay, we're going to counter that. Okay, let's party. Um, we're at six. I don't know how much I love returning a bunch of three rates here. Like, it could be kind of dangerous. Let's return one. 12 mana is quite a bit, so I'm going to play one Stinger here. I can start dealing them damage. And let's cycle. Okay. Go to four, cycle the Street Wraith. Spell. So we're looking to draw into our scab here. Or a teachings for songs. Something along those lines. Cycle. Their songs, that was really good. Cycle again. I'll go to two. We just have to make sure not to cycle another Street Wraith. Okay, cycle Vantasaur. Cycle Horror. That brings us down to five mana floating. Ball Ritual. Songs. And Graves. We will not return a Street Wraith here. Okay, we got game number two. Whew. All right. I think this configuration works. Let's just submit it again. We got a little bit lucky because our opponent got stuck on lands, but at the same time, we got stuck on having no cyclers in that early game as well. So I think both sides didn't have ideal draws. Going into game three against Mono Blue Fairies slash Delver. Ah, not a land. This hand would be so good if there was just one land in it. We have to ship it. Okay, so I think we keep this and we bottom one Ash Barons. And I need to get a Swamp with uh, the first one. Spiritane. Let's just go get our Swamp. Yeah. I thought about getting the Mountain there for the Pyroblast because we have three Swamps to draw into and Baron Moors. The problem is, like, what if these Vantasaurs miss? Like, black mana is just way more crucial than being able to cast the Pyroblast. Okay, our opponent did not shuffle off the Ponder. Cycle. Okay, and... Celebrant's actually a very good draw, because it gives us both colors for Pyroblast and Dispel. Play Land Pass. I do think playing the land is correct here, even though we're short on cyclers. Sure. So I think that means that they likely have a ninja in their hand. We're just not close to winning yet, unfortunately. Yep. Okay. Beardain. So we know that they they have six cards in hand, one of which is a spell stutter sprite. Cycle the dino. Okay, draw. This is a pretty good window for us to play the Blood Celebrant, but because they can't count, they can't spell stutter it, and now we have this online. Cycle. 
Okay. So I'm feeling a little bit better now. I could have killed the ninja, but I'm not convinced that's what the matchup's about, so I'm just not going to do that. I have five cards. Spiritane. We just need to draw a chain of cyclers into a Songs of the Damned. There's one. The 14. You know, that was pretty good. Um, should I try to jam here? I think so. Like, this is our window, so I'm going to take it. Dark Ritual. Pyroblast. Okay, we have four cards. Dispel. Ah, oh, that hurt real bad. Because now next turn our songs is going to get countered, and we're not going to have the storm count. Damn it. I knew I should have waited. All right, so I'm just going to take this. I feel like I just blew this game. In my head, I was like, I should probably wait another turn, and then I talked myself into going for it. Three cards in hand. Cycle. Let's get in there. See if they do something stupid. Play the pedal. I feel like I really did mess this up. Yep. Yeah. And now I can songs for four. Or, I'm sorry, Reaping the Graves for four. Return the stinger and three others. So I think I'm supposed to take the street rave. Yeah, I really do think I messed this game up. I'm a little disappointed right now. I I, I knew I should have waited. Alright, so they didn't draw the another ninja. Damn it. Okay, so now they have a spell stutter in their hand. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this. And they just drew two extra cards. Okay, let's go to three life. Cycle Stinger. Yeah, this is my own fault. Okay, two and one. Let's go to match number four. Okay, fourth match. We're on the draw. We're going to keep this. When I'm going to five. Okay. Tron. That would make sense why they mulliganed. Okay, uh, I think I'm just going to cycle the Ash Barons. The plan that's actually pretty good against Tron, in my experience, is just like ritualing out a horror because they are the crop rotation deck and just like bashing them with horror quickly. There's the prism. Maybe I should have gotten a swamp. <sighs> okay. Horror. No Tron, no Tron. Stirrings, okay. Lumog's Crusher. That's kind of scary. Prism. Okay, so I get a window here to smack them in the head. Uh, let's cast the ritual. Let's cycle horror. Okay. Cycle stinger. Guild. And cycle the Ash Barons for a Swamp, and then I can cycle the Baron more. Okay, cycle. Okay, it's not the worst. Get in there for 12. Come on, concede. Concede! The Evoke Mold Drifter? Okay. So, green source into... Well, I guess they have the green source. So, I'm a little bit worried here, because... They could have crop rotation for Bajookabog to shut off this line. Which isn't even that good because I can only cycle one thing after. So I think I'm supposed to just cycle the Baron more. And that'll do. Cycle. Get in. For the Broken Lands! Woot woot! Take that, Tron! Get out of here. Or too strong. That's like reminiscent of the days uh, when I got into Cycle Storm where everyone used to play uh, Grizzly Survivor, and I've always hated that card. But that's the reason why they played it right there, is that Tron 
just has such a tough time dealing with an early pumper. All right, so let's board in the dispels and the pyros and the mountain. Okay, so we can take out that. Take out a teachings. The reason I take out teachings is that it can be kind of difficult to resolve against the big blue decks or even the small blue decks like fairies. So having one is nice for after you've already started mid comboing, but two get eight, one, it can be cloggy. Like you get two in your hand, you can't really cast them and it's not reliable. So I think you're supposed to board down one. And here, I think we're supposed to board out another Lotus Petal versus like this slowish Tron deck. I don't know how I feel about five protection spells right now. It's possible that it's just supposed to be two and two. And here we have the horror draw again. I don't know if we should go for that game plan two games in a row. When I took a mulligan to six. Okay. Power plant. I think I'm just going to play the Baron more. Turn two, we can cycle for the mountain. Fast start for the opponent. Upkeep, let's go get the mountain. Draw. And that's just Tron. Ancient Stirrings. Prism. Yep. Make her wellspring. Maybe it's not the Tron version that I'm thinking it is. I don't know. Like a little stinger. Okay, draw. Yeah, this might not be the version that I think it is. Cycle the healer. Cycle one horror. And I've already played my land, so pass the turn. Pressure. Damn it. I am not ready to go off yet. And I'm not getting any information on which version there. Like, this could just be straight red-green. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm in trouble. Cycle. 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 Puts me to seven. All right, so we can burn a songs here. Cycle the horror. All right, so we're on our last draw to possibly stay in this. Oh, give me a, a uh, Reaping the Graves, please. Yes. Okay, Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Songs. Graves. So this is only a draw five. We don't guaranteed win. We really want to hit a blue source for the scab. Okay. Like these. Another Songs is really good. Okay, I think we've probably got it now. Wow. Okay, another Pyroblast. Let's cycle this Stinger. Still want to draw a blue source. Reaping the Graves. This is for eight. Brought back all the friends. We have plenty of mana, so I'm not going to do the cycle stuff here. I'm just going to start cycling. All right, another songs, that's fine. And another Reaping the Graves, wow. And there's our Blood Celebrant, we've got it. Why did I do that? I don't know, I probably should have played uh, Stinger there. Okay, play that. Play this. And our opponent concedes! 3-1, one, one round left to go, let's get the 4-1. That would make me happy. Match number five, the final round of this league. We're on the play, and I'm definitely going to keep this hand. Okay, Barrymore and pass the turn. Okay, what is our opponent playing? Bridge. Could be Affinity, could be a Wildfire deck. We don't really know yet. Okay, so I think I'm going to cycle the Street Rates here. Trying to just find more cyclers. We hit a Horror, that's good. And the Architect. I like where this is going. Okay. We just really want to find a Reaping the Graves now. Okay, so this is probably Affinity. Draw. Or is a good one. Cycle. Ding dong. Uh, we could try to force it here for turn three. And we'd probably win. 
That said, I don't know if we need to. I'm just going to pass the turn. Like, I could have a turn three. I think we just... We go from being, like, super likely to win to we're going to win just by waiting a turn and having an extra black source. So, I don't see why you would jam. Okay. Draw. And let's crush. Okay. Uh, we do need another card in the graveyard for threshold. Um, I'm just going to float a mana here. So that's seven. Let's Cabal Ritual. And do I want to ploy? Why not? Let's ploy. Let's increase this from count. Discard the teachings. Cycle horror. Dark ritual. This is just great. Songs. And let's play the scab. And the reason I discarded the teachings is I knew that I was going to use the lotus petal for a second blue for the scab. So that's why I didn't return. Or why that's why I didn't keep the teachings. All right, let's return all of our friends. Okay. And I played the play early just for the life game, but also the storm. Because I knew that I would be cycling these street rates later. Okay. And I know that I'm returning uh, the scab and planning on picking up the song. So you don't really need to do the resolve each copy individually trick. Okay. The teachings is a good draw there. Okay. I think we've got this one. Cast the Cabal Ritual. Cycle Dino. Almost halfway. And by almost, I mean like six cards away. Let's cycle the Stinger. Cycle the Architect. Beautiful. Okay. Everything is just going extremely well right now. So you could cast Teachings for another song, or you can play Scab, which in return makes a mana because it's another creature going to the graveyard. Pick up another songs. Cast it. And Reaping the Graves. Scab is just such an improvement in this deck. Term count's so high right now. <laughs> okay. We're just returning all of our friends. Okay, so cycle this. Keep going. Pedal's good. I think I'm actually going to play out a Stinger. I probably should have done it sooner, but it's fine. All right, let's cycle. Okay. Set up our auto yields, dark ritual. Okay. Blood Celebrant was a good one. Um, Let's cycle this. I like the Celebrant because we have these two blue cards in our hand, and I can use the Scab now for uh, Songs of the Damned and then Mystical Teachings for Reaping the Graves. Okay. I'm going to use this now. Put a six. Play Scab. I will exploit. Sacrifice it. Let's get back Songs. Cycle. Okay. Dark Ritual is good. Cycle Healer. Cycle Stinger. And you might be thinking, why don't you play Stinger? Well, I know that I'm about to Reaping the Graves anyway. Well, I, I didn't know I was going to draw one, but I knew that I was about to cast one. So let's just make this a little bit easier on myself, and I'm going to use this Teachings to go get another uh, Songs right now. We have 20 cards left in our deck, and up until this point, that one scab made it so that Songs of the Damned, well, the first copy was good enough, down to 20 cards. That's sort of the power level behind playing scab. Like, I could have won with the single songs over and over without ever drawing the other three. Okay, we're returning all of our dead friends. Just like a Marvel movie. Okay. All right. Let's add a red mana. Play the second stinger. And let's just keep cycling. 
Okay. So we've gotten game number one over affinity. And here we have the two copies of Dispel that we're trying out specifically for this matchup. And I'm going to board out two copies of Architect. Or maybe I want to do one teachings. Yeah, I think I like doing one teaching, so let's do this. Just a similar reason. In post-board games, our opponent is going to board in uh, things like Dispel, Red Elemental Blast. So we have these Dispels to fight back, and if a teaching gets countered, it's going to be brutal. And uh, I think you could board down on an Architect if you were more worried about not finding Reaping the Graves. But there's also the, those games where you don't have enough Cyclers and you get punished. So, wow. <sighs> Unfortunately, we have to ship this. And that. All right. A little bit risky here. Two on the bottom. I'm not feeling super confident in this game. Bridge, draw, okay. If we're gonna win this, we need our affinity opponent to have a very slow hand. And turn two ATOG is not what we needed. All right, Cycle Architect, pass. Okay, Icar Wellspring. And they're gonna draw another card immediately. Uh, chromatic star sure so we'll take three to 17 draw i think we just cycle another architect trying to hit land number two you could ritual but i don't think i love that and i'm gonna hold this street wraith i don't want our opponent to know that we're at 15 essentially uh because that could bite me in the butt so instead i'm just gonna hold this and cycle it on our turn i think i'm gonna try to go for it on our turn even though we don't have a whole lot going on i'm really hoping they tap out here Okay, they have four cards. Am I dead? Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yep. Yeah, they just got me here. So we lost game number two. We're going to be on the play game number three, and hopefully we won't mulligan to five. Okay, so they got it. It's fine. Let's see what our draws would have been. One. So I wouldn't have hit the land anyway. Mm, I'm not convinced we would have gotten there. We would have ran out of mana. Okay, so let's just, you know, try again. No fling needed there. On the play for game number three. <sighs> Killing me, Doc. Um, I think we keep this and bottom the pedal. All right. <sighs> it's so awkward. We don't really want double graves, but you're not gonna mulligan songs graves. All right, we're gonna go get the island. Draw cycler. Not quite. Cycle. Okay. Not a tog. Good deal. All right, upkeep. Let's go get a swamp. Draw. Okay, things are going okay right now. Cycle. Cycle. Duress. That hurts. Okay. So they probably take songs here. Yep. Okay. And it's just an attack for one. Still have four cards in hand. We're going to use the star. For black mana. Okay. On our turn, I think I'm going to cycle Street Wraith and deploy. Second Disciple. Okay. Cycle this. Cycle again. And play Ploy. So this is going to gain three life. Discard the Horror. The reason I'm discarding Horror, by the way, is that. I can cycle the stinger off blue and then this off black into songs next turn if I feel like I need to win. Okay. That treasure token is also going to make me lose two life. All right, so I fall to 13. We have five cards. Podcast, okay. Really want them to tap out. Because I think my next turn is my go turn. 
they did not. So they probably have like Pyroblast or something up at the moment. Let's cycle the Stinger. Damn it. Cycle Horror. So each of these represents uh, two life. I can use this to jumpstart the, uh, or, you know what it is? Yeah, jumpstart deploy. I'm trying to make storm here. Blue, so I go to nine. All right, ploy. Discard the Ash Barons. That was really good. Okay. And reaping the graves. Horror six. All right, we definitely want the horror. All right, so we can return Stinger, Wraith, Wraith, Healer, Vantasaur. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to play out Healer so that eventually we can start gaining life. Okay, so I'm going to go to 11 here, play Healer. And the idea is I want to be able to keep on cycling Street Rates without getting punished. Because we're tight on mana, and I don't... Okay, they're, they're going to try to kill that. Okay, so we're going to cycle. Everything needs to be at instant speed at the moment. Okay. Seven mana. Really want to hit some more mana here. That's good. Cycle the Wraith. Okay. Cycle this. We just need mana. We need another Songs, desperately. Okay. Little stinger. Songs. All right, so I'm going to cast Reaping the Graves right now, and we should be able to return most of our graveyard. The problem is we're only going to have uh, three mana floating, so I really need to hit. Okay. So I've returned all the street rates, now I'm going back for other creatures. Okay, so we go to 11 after this. Blood Celebrant doesn't really help here. Cycle. Uh, if I had a blue, I could dispel, but I don't. Cycle this. All right, so we don't have... We haven't hit songs yet, which is the scary thing. Um, I think I just need to keep going, trying to spike. Dark Ritual, okay, a little bit of life. Cycle the Dino, 26 cards in deck. Also, I take a Cabal Ritual. Let's go. Draw. There we go. Hell yeah. Okay. Cycle. Okay. Feeling good about this. Okay. Lotus Petal. I don't mind that. Having a blue source would be good. I guess we have the Blood Celebrant. Okay. Cycle this. It. I can let the healer die now. I also wouldn't mind drawing the repository scab. Just throwing that out there. Uh, let's just cycle this. It is a free life to gain. Speaking of scab. Okay. This just, it should be game. Uh, let's play the celebrant. Make a blue. Scab. We'll get back songs. Okay. There's our songs of the damned. Cycle horror. Cast uh, the songs in our teachings for storm. Pretty sure we still have an, another song or two in our deck. We don't. I thought we did. Okay. Not the end of the world. We can just grab a reaping the graves here. And now we'll return all of our friends. Okay, looking through. So there's no need to do the cycling with the copies on the stack thing because we're just going to play out our stingers and start to kill our opponent. All right, red mana. Cast the stinger. Still two stingers in our deck. Play another stinger. Cycle the street wraith. So one of the things about this deck is that it's just very difficult to play correctly. Like, uh, so we got a 4-1 here. Not to count my chickens too early, but we've got a 4-1. And 
the match I lost was likely my own fault. Like, I could have played slightly better, and that could have ended up as a win. I was too hasty, and in my gut, I knew that I should have waited. But because I was recording and because I was narrating, I was like, you know what? It'd be good for the camera if I just won here, and then I pushed it. Or I think if I was just playing on my own, I would have been a little bit more patient. So it ended up as a 4-1. That could have been a 5-0. And all those small decisions really do matter when you play this deck. There's so many, like, micro decisions because you have so many options. Like, that's part of playing cycling is that you just have all these micro things that do end up mattering a little bit. Okay, so this is the last point of damage we need. My one mana black creature was stronger than yours. Blood Celebrant better than Disciple of the Vault. You heard it here. It's just a hard fact. Um, but enough joking around. This is the deck list. I don't know how I felt about five protection spells. I would really appreciate if you left feedback letting me know what you thought. Um... I liked double teachings, no wins. I haven't liked wins the last two months I've played it. But it's tough to set aside a card that has been so good for you in the past. And there is that cool cycle, uh, or that cool Tolarian wins reaping the graves trick. But I don't think you need that when you have repository scab in your deck anymore, which is one of the reasons I've moved on from it. So that's the deck list, as I said. I really would be interested in your feedback on this. I'm not just saying that. And uh, why not? Let's open up our chest for uh, all of you. See if we get anything good. It looks like hot garbage to me. What is this thing? Yep, trash. Okay, so thank you for watching. I do appreciate you. Have a great day. Keep storming. And if you haven't already, buy your repository scabs. The card is the real deal. See ya. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.